What is it with Hollywood celebrities where they just don't understand that bashing President Trump in crude ways is not going to work out? Hey everybody, I'm Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk, 95.1 FM and 7.90 AM KFYO. Longtime actor Robert De Niro receiving a standing ovation at the Tony Awards uh, last night uh, after he condemned U.S. President Donald Trump. And he said, quote, I'm going to say one thing. And for those of you who don't like a little salty language, I'll go ahead and apologize in advance. Fuck Trump, De Niro said. He pumping his fist into the air. It's no longer down with Trump. It's fuck Trump, De Niro said once again. And of course, the celebrities went crazy. They started clapping. Uh, they went crazy and nuts. And this, by the way, as President Trump is on his way to Singapore to sit down with the leader of North Korea and, you know, hoping to uh, get a uh, denuclearization agreement on the table, you know, to kind of stave off, uh, you know, any kind of nuclear war that uh, may break out in the future because North Korea is a crazy nation led by a crazy dictator. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, Robert De Niro wants to get on stage and yell F Trump and uh, the, all the celebrities want to stand up and clap. It's another sign, you pair this with what Samantha B said about Ivanka Trump, which was absolutely horrible. Uh, you, you pair it with that and you see that celebrities, they just don't understand that most Americans in this country look at that and just shake their head. Even people who don't like Trump and disagree with President Trump, they don't necessarily want to hear, oh, F Trump or Ivanka Trump is a C word. They don't want to hear any of that. It's something that these uh, Hollywood celebrities, many of these Hollywood celebrities, just don't understand. You know, I, I've been saying on the show that I've been reading uh, Selena Zito's book, The Great Revolt. And I encourage you, if you have not read that book, go and read it because it talks about the Trump voter, the blue collar, blue blood Democrat Trump voter in the middle of the country, the people who are tired of being lectured to uh, by celebrities, the people who are tired of being told uh, that America needs to apologize for everything. The, the areas of the country that really those on the East Coast and West Coast have forgotten about. And Robert De Niro and many in the news media, by the way, are perfect examples of uh, these uh, these people who live in bubbles and they're not listening to what average everyday Americans have to say. Whether you liked Roseanne or not or whether you thought Roseanne Barr was uh, joking when she sent out uh, that tweet a few weeks ago. And by the way, I do think she was joking. She's a comedian. Uh, but, but whatever you feel about Roseanne Barr, you look at her TV show. You had a Trump supporter on there. Uh, you know, not everyone on the show obviously was a Trump supporter. You had disagreements. But one thing that uh, Roseanne in that show never did was make fun of Trump supporters. And that's what these Hollywood celebrities are doing. They're, they are uh, saying, screw you to uh, so many people out there by getting on stage, accepting an award, and then yelling F Trump, and everyone stands and, cl and, and claps for that. Why is, uh, why is Robert De Niro not making fun or, you know, saying F Harvey Weinstein uh, during an award show? Why aren't they talking about all the ills that are in within Hollywood that need to be talked about? You know, it's, it's low-hanging fruit to go after Trump, and I think it's something that a lot of people are getting tired of, and I think it's something that's going to come back to bite Democrats in the future in 2020. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Have a great day.